Hey Puds, welcome and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, honey. Uh, today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. This foundation has been out for a few days and it's caused quite a scurry on social media. For good reasons, obviously. If they release 42 shades in three categories, um, light, medium and dark to deep. I fall in the dark to deep category, obviously. And my shade is 210 Togo. I base my shade off my friend Destiny Godly. We are foundation sisters. We are the same foundation in most of our favorite foundations. And she told me that her shade is 210 Togo. So guess what? I'm 210 Togo. I will leave a link down in her video, but I did swatch it in the store. And it's so pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put it on my chest to show you. I'm going to put it on my face, obviously. But I'm going to put it on my chest to show you. And that's how I like to match my foundation off my chest because my face is the darkest place on my body personally so i always match my foundation to that and as you can tell it disappeared so let me read about the i am Magic foundation our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage a great formula to even out the complexion refine skin texture and erase blemishes Maintain the initial finish throughout the day. So, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin and oily skin. So, if you have sensitive skin, it's going to be good for you. If you have oily skin, it's going to be good for you. If you have a drier skin type, I will say you can use it too. But make sure you hydrate um, your skin underneath. Use hydrating moisturizer, a hydrating primer. I prep my skin using my Bobbi Brown face cream. I went in with the... Um, brightening elixir from Glory Fit for Cream. Um, so far, I've been using this for three days and I love it. I will have more information in another video. And I prime my skin with the Master Prime Face Studio from Maybelline, New York. So let's go ahead and stop talking and I'm going to put the foundation on my face and you can see what it looks like. So guys, this is what it looks like all over my face. I think it looks quite smashing, if I do say so myself. The color, as you can see, I can't even tell where it's on my chest. It looks great. Of course, I have to bring all the light back into my face, highlight, contour, and all that good stuff. Um, this retails for $20. My total came out to $21.65. I did purchase it at Ulta. They didn't have the I Am Magic Concealer, so I'm not sure if they're going to release those at store as well. I'm not sure. I might have to end up ordering online. And yes, it's one fluid ounce, I believe. It's full coverage. Um, I like the packaging. The only thing bad, I think, is that you can't see the color. But I do like that it's plastic. I can drop it on the floor and it's going to be okay. I have all the floors. I break foundation bottles all the time. I'm a working makeup artist, so I feel like I will get more shades put in my kit. So the plastic part doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm going to continue with the rest of my face. And I'll let you know what my final thoughts are in just a second. Hey put, so I am back with my face completed. It's been about 
59 minutes because I watched a video that was 59 minutes so that's how long I've, I've had the foundation on so it looks really good I actually didn't even set it with powder I just I set like the bottom of my neck with like bronzer but that's it I didn't set my whole face I think it looks really good and my viewfinder it looks flawless I've got like a filter almost but, but the color is really nice it didn't oxidize to me it didn't at least um, I like it. So, yeah, twenty dollars is available at Ulta now. They only have the foundation. Um, they, they don't have the concealer. So, if I do decide to do a concealer, I will come back and do another video using the products together. I also see they're coming out with the setting powder. So maybe I'll just wait until that comes out. That way, I can do a whole Juvia's Place look, honey. But anyway, let me know what you think about this foundation down below. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know if you were waiting for me to review it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Perhaps. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will leave a link below to what I used today. And thank you so much for tuning in with me. And I'll see you with another video. Bye. Face. with that face. Okay, Juvia's Flesh, I did that. Bye. I won't stay long. I won't stay.